Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about Grant Wood's Corn Room Mural from here in Sioux City. Before Grant Wood became the Grant Wood of international renown, um, he was a struggling artist in Iowa, uh, working hard just like every other artist, and would take jobs as, as they came to make a living. In 1926, he was hired by Eugene Epley, who at the time owned uh, several hotels in Iowa, and he commissioned Grant Wood to paint corn room murals in the dining rooms of his hotels. And that includes what was the Martin Hotel at that time, which is just one block north of the Art Center on 4th and Pierce Streets. And so Eugene Epley wanted the, his, his visitors, his guests, to dine and be fully aware of where they were. Even though they were in the middle of Sioux City, they were in Iowa. And if it wasn't clear to them, he had them surrounded by cornfields. And that's what Grant Wood did in 1926. So our corn room mural has had a, an interesting history. Um, after Eugene Epley sold the hotels, they were, it was bought by uh, Sheraton, and eventually the corn room became wallpapered. Uh, and it remained wallpapered for decades uh, until it was rediscovered, in a sense, um, during, while, the, while the building was changing hands. And so eventually uh, the corn room came to the art center and we uh, put it up in its own space here. And it's been like this for, oh, about 12 years or so. What's special about the corn room is not only the fact that we have a world famous artist who came to Sioux City and did this, but it's the timing of it. It was 1926. And as I mentioned, he was successful, he was working, he was getting hired by people like Eugene Epley for big jobs, um, but he hadn't yet reached that point in his career where he was world famous. It was shortly after he completed the hotels, um, probably with some of the money that he made earning the hotels, that he went back to Europe um, to work on a project. And while he was there, he became inspired by some of the German artists who were active at the time. It was after that, a few years after um, completing this project, that he returned to Iowa and started painting a brand new style of painting, the one that he became famous for. While he was here in 1926, it was in 1930 that he completed American Gothic. And that, of course, led to him becoming an international sensation. And for the rest of the 1930s, Grant Wood was probably the most uh, important and uh, revered artist of the of the decade and we like to think maybe it started right here with the job he took here and the money that he made and while the corn room mural is not in its uh, best condition uh, it's been restored as well as it can be and it gives us a glimpse back to what the experience would have been like for people in the hotel uh, right next to me is the area that was discovered as they were peeling back the wallpaper that, that confirmed what they were looking at. And you can see his name is down in that corner. Uh, one of the other highlights of this uh, is a sign on another large panel, uh, sort of a rickety wood sign in a, in a cross shape. And written across, it says, no shooting allowed. And he leaves off the G in shooting and spells aloud A-L-O-U-D instead of A-L-L-O-W-E-D. And that kind of humor that he puts in, sort of rustic humor, uh, that carries him the rest of his career. Uh, all the while he's painting beautiful Iowa landscapes and some of the people of Iowa, there's always a bit of tongue in cheek, always a little bit of uh, poking fun at the, uh, the people and the places that he's depicting. So we're really happy to be able to have this here. It's uh, an important part of Sioux City history, important part of art history, and uh, it's, it's great to have such a, a nice space where you can see much of what remains of the corn room mural.